Hello, everyone. We are doing a reading on the full moon in Aquarius. Occurs August 19th. And um, I will provide the timestamps for each sign below. We will start with um, Aries and then go down through the Zodiac. And um, <clears throat> this is a quick general intuitive reading. It is, it, I'm doing it based on the sun sign, but also it's important to watch your moon sign, your natal moon sign, and um, your, um, I want to say Mercury sign, because we are in a Mercury retrograde, and things are starting to amp up for some reason. But also your um, rising is important, because this is the events that people perceive or maybe going on around you. Also, um, if you do have um, stellums or something in Aquarius, that's important to um, to watch um, Aquarius. So, all right. So let's get started. We're going to start with um, Aries, okay? And this is the full moon in Aquarius that occurs August nineteenth. So Aries, you are right here, okay? So you have the stone of, it's a slippery slope with emotion. So it could be a quite an emotional time. And you have the stone of Saturn. It's like one step at a time. You know, sometimes we're dealing with karma here. Or we're dealing with some frustrating situations. Um, what I do feel, this could be like for your um, people around you, uh, maybe your friend, uh, friends, your associates, or people that you talk to all the time. And that some could be going through some hard times. Um, or they could be some a little bit of um, changes of feelings here. So I do feel that energy as well. What I do feel for you is very important here um, that you will have some visions. Maybe these are just like um, daydreaming or a vision comes to you or what you are like looking at the bigger picture. There are revelations. You're going to have um, some new knowledge coming in. Your creativity is strong, but slow and steady. Um, this is also transformation and you're regenerating things as well. So expect that, um, to happen too. Uh, some of you, this is talking, um, counsel therapy may be started too. So I do feel that some of you may be taking care of health issues. All right. It's a very important to be diplomatic um, compassionate and balanced. There could be an offer of love. Um, some of you could be dealing with a father figure or um, a very supportive person in your life too that is going to understand you somehow too. Uh, for some reason, I'm picking up a Pisces um, or an early deacon Pisces for some reason is what I'm picking up. Now, for some of you, we'll be dealing with um, betrayal. All right. You may feel some kind of uh, that you felt betrayed or um, there's some rivalry here as well. But, you know, abundance comes with courage. So whatever you set your mind to, um, new goals, um, new um, um, prospects for the future, they can take some time. There are some things that you that have been in a work in progress are finally going to come to a conclusion. For some of you, it is going to be, um, I want to say, um, reassessing, okay, or patience is required here, okay? So that's for Aries. Now we're moving on to... Taurus. Taurus, you are right here. Okay, so you have the stone of refurbishing love, desires, lots of opinions and thoughts and adjustments, <laughs> what I'm seeing here too. There could be a lot of people's opinions coming at you at this time. Um, many um, arguments, um, many thoughts, um, our differences of opinion, so I see that as well. Um, I do feel here too that this is a time where people are watching what you are doing, um, how you're feeling, and they may interpret it differently or what you put out there and how you present yourself is going to be important is what I'm feeling here too. All right. Um, men are going to be significant for some reason. This is a time of that I feel you're going to go through some internal growth. Um, common strength, um, common sense is important for you too. There's a focus on your family, love, um, and the home as well. 
Okay, so I do feel that some of you may be stepped up to be the matriarch or the the you know the breadwinner or the one that takes care of everything at home. So I do feel that some of you may feel that extra burden or responsibility and reassess that as well. Because I do feel that some of you will be dealing with some disagreements, some tension, so and there's some change going on here as well. Maybe it's a changing of the guard. So there is um, a lot of like multitasking and getting things done as well. Um, I do feel here that some of you could be starting a new job or career and now you're in the training phase or you're teaching and training others. So that's another thing that I see here too. So definitely there is some change going on here. Um, you will make a positive impact and it's important to make one because you're in the spotlight. And you're making a positive impact on people. Um, success, happiness, creativity is high for you as well. But communications and what you communicate is going to be important. Some of you may be starting to travel or travel because of work. Um, you're going to gain some more information that's coming up too. This is a very lively phase and a very social time too. All right. This is a time where you could also rub elbows with people in higher positions. Okay. So you can make it or break it. It is up to you. So that's what I feel for um, Taurus. All right. And now we're going to move on to Gemini. Gemini, you're right here. Home, family, love, luck, but it is in the reverse. And then we see a tower here, which is work, career, um, or the world around you. So there could be some sudden changes. There's a little bit of a separation here too. So we are seeing that kind of energy. Um, for some of you, this is finding new interests um, or um, wanting to learn something new, maybe wanting to travel to a distant location because there's a, a like a separation from home. Maybe you are in a different location um, right now um, and maybe you're thinking of moving, but you're connecting to um, different unfamiliar places or feelings. So maybe even some feelings may arise in you that you never thought of before. This could be a change of spirituality. Um, the way you feel about something, what your comfort needs are, what you nurture, what you're healing, your emotional stability, your intuition too is uh, strongly indicated here as well. You may be dealing also with a mother figure or mother in your life is what I'm feeling too here as well. Um, this is a time where, where if you do start making affirmations and manifestation, it's like you have the universe's attention. So it's like the universe is really listening to you is what I'm picking up here. For some of you, high pregnancy. This could be unexpected as well. Um, so I do feel that energy. This is a very fertile moment for you as well. There is a lot of personal growth and liberation. Okay, breaking free from something, starting something new. There's a sense of a renewal and new beginnings. Okay, new growth. So I definitely see that. Um, so that is uh, something that is showing up. Um, someone may come and visit you from a distance or someone you haven't seen for a while. I do feel a friend may visit you. So I do feel that energy. Um, this is like a bridge between here too. So it's like leading to something or it's someone that is going to represent a big change of circumstances. Um, it's a new journey for you too, okay? So I am seeing that kind of energy. Some of you may long distance travel, so there is something there that is opening up for you. All right, so that um, wraps it up for Gemini, and now we're going to move on to Cancer. Cancer, you are right here, and you ended up getting three oracles here. So you do have an emotional journey here. Um, so we are seeing that sometimes it's long distance or travel is possible as well. We do see here empowerment and adjustments, um, new hobbies, new desires, new job, a new career, confidence, and we're seeing wish fulfillment, but it does come with a delay here. So we are seeing that kind of energy and reassessing what your desires are. What, what is it that you want? Um, it's like things are eliminating. You may kind of like purge yourself, um, purging things out of your life. This works for me. This doesn't work for me. So I do feel that energy. I do see that this is a time that you may incur some delays, okay? Um, or you're just kind of separating and being more to yourself with, um, from negativity or people around you. There is um, dealing with some kind of delays or restrictions, um, but you're going to innovate things too, okay? You're becoming more and more self-reliant. 
you're learning that um, you don't need um, someone's support or something, or uh, you're more self-reliant, I want to say, in some form or another. Um, there's been some distress, and I see some confusion and conflict, but I do have this power, this power within you to overcome everything there, too, as well. I do feel here, too, this is a time of reassessing things, um, getting the rest that you need. You're recuperating. There's a focus on healing, health, and well-being. And there's a renewal of spirit here, too. And I do feel for some of you, this is a time where also finances um, you don't, um, could be transforming. And someone may be, um, you may be a benefit from someone else's um, income or partnership. Or maybe your partner may start making more money. So there is something there. There's going to be some changes in your life. All right. And for some of you, this is maybe thinking of moving home. Um, it's signifying some kind of a new home or a change of dynamics there. OK, so you may be slowly thinking of moving. Um, there is a transition here. All right. So this is also talking about soul changes, um, your pleasure, what's your happiness. And it, I do see there is some lucky, lucky energy around you, okay? It's like the universe has your back. So there is um, luck on your side here too. And you may be considered very lucky with some uh, with some things too, okay? So I see blessings as well. So that shows up for Cancer. Now we're going to move on to Leo. Leo, you are right here, okay? So we are seeing um, decisions, choices. Maybe you've been hurt by someone or something, um, this is a person that's been hurt by you, but you at the same time may be repressing or you're hurt by someone as well. I do see here spiritual tower. So definitely spirit, it's meant to be, or there's a soul contract here between you, a person or a situation here. So I do feel that energy. So spiritually connecting with kindred spirits or people you have soul contracts with is showing up here. All right. So I do feel that energy too. Some people may come in and kind of save the day or give you some good advice. This is people who are skilled in their field. Um, maybe they're older, wiser. They, they've been through some um, experiences. So I do feel that energy. Um, this is a time where people are going to expect reliability from you too and being dependable. Uh, dependable. Um, I do see enlightenment coming your way. And your endurance is going to be very important, too. So you can get things done um, and uh, you can endure a lot at this time, too. So there's a physical strength here, mental, emotional. So I am feeling that energy. I do feel that there could be a gathering, like a family reunion or a huge party. Um, there's some kind of celebration, uh, maybe a celebrating a completion or a graduation or a, a success. Um, relationships should be better off as well. Um, some of you may be announcing um, like a new relationship or um, it could be a wedding coming up. So I do feel that energy. Some of you, this is dreams coming true. All right. There's love, a lot of support around you and a happy ending. All right. Now, some of you are on a new journey here um, and um, you have help. Um, available whenever you need it. It's like when you need something, there is someone there for you, okay? But there is a thing here that says, be careful of anyone who is deceptive around you. You, you. It's like being able to assess who's the deceptive person, okay? You, you, you be able to pick that up, okay? So I do feel that children could be a little bit mischievous now as well. So I do feel that energy. All right, so that wraps it up for uh, Leo. Now we're going to move on to Virgo. Virgo, this is you here. You also got three oracles. You got um, earned income, your self-worth, things of value, and also shared resources, uh, passions, desires, and needing to be more creative with the home and your foundations. And also, this is partial fulfillment here money, um, putting in the work. You could be very busy at this time. There's a focus on your health. Your health will depend on how much money you make is what I'm feeling and also how your work and job is going to go. So there is a focus on that as well. Um, I do feel here too that um, some of you may be starting a new business. Some of you may um, want to take a leap of faith, jump into like an entrepreneur thing as well. Um, 
you're, you're determined to overcome challenges. You're more mature. You may see that maturity in the way you're thinking, the way you're handling some things too. You're very career focused now and business focused also with work. So I do see that a lot of creative solutions coming your way too. So I do feel that they could be a significant masculine figure that comes in and notices something um, a worth and value with you. Okay, so this person could be observing you somehow. I don't know. I or this is a new person coming in. I do see success and your goals be um, achieved. All right. So I do feel that energy. There's a focus on your health. And making positive changes in your life. This is your time to now start making these positive changes yourself with your health. And that's going to bring you success. Your health is directly connected. How much you're going to make your money, how are you going to make your money and your work? All right. And your success. So I definitely feel that energy. Um, I do feel here money is coming in some in some form here. And I do feel also that something here is imminent coming up and you can't change it for good or for bad. That's the best way I can explain that. Okay, so an uh, event is coming up that is imminent that is going to be so very significant as well. Okay, all right, so that wraps it up for Virgo and now we're going to move on to Libra. All right, Libra, this is you right here. You also got three stones, luck, fortune, love, happiness. It's in the reverse. Um, sp some of you are going to be split between two jobs or two goals to, um, maybe thinking of merging into another company. Um, maybe it's a side hustle. So I do see that kind of energy. There is some change there and you do have a positive completion. So I do feel that energy too. Something new, um, somebody, uh, you could be torn between two people. Maybe you're the mediator. This could be in a love relationship as well. Maybe if you have children, they could be kind of like wanting you to take one or the other side. So I'm seeing that kind of energy. This is a time where you're going to be frustrated too, I feel. It's like work. You want to play, but you, you need to work, you know? So it's trying to balance between work and play too. So I'm feeling that energy. So there could be internal conflict. Maybe there's some disagreements. So I do see a little bit of that energy. Um, and this is a time where you may be purging some abusive relationships. You're like, oh, this person wasn't good for me. Um, this person's been using me. This person's, you know, I do this, I do that. This is not good for me. So you're kind of reassessing things. So expect some people's situations to leave your life and then something new is coming in as well. Um, as something leaves, something new will come in. I see something being replenished as well. You have the wild card here. There's a connection to the past, present, and future. So the past or a past situation is going to connect with the future, uh, with the present, which will determine the future. So it's almost like, I want to say karma uh, for some of you. For some of you, it's just like fate. Okay, so we are seeing that, but you're kind of creating your own reality at the same time. This is a fertile time for you as well. I do see there could be addition to the family. Either some, uh, either it's going to be, I do feel someone out there is adopting and you will get a yes um, and approval. It will be completed. Uh, maybe it's adopting an animal from an animal shelter. I don't know. It could be a child too, but I do feel um, um, maybe there's someone also, uh, a new member of the family coming in through marriage or something, but this is also um, by birth too. So there could be news of a pregnancy. Pregnancy is high as well. Um, I do, it does indicate some happy news and some positive changes that are occurring in your life. Okay. All right. So that's what we're seeing for Libra. And now we're going to move on to Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, you are right here. Health and well-being and some changes here too, of a change of a situation. And we are seeing here a money, love, um, fortune too. So there's something there that's completing in your life as well. I do feel that something will be revealed for Scorpio. Okay, this is a message or you're going to gain some insight in to, um, through some kind of communications or something may be announced. Um, this is a time of where your enthusiasm is, enthusiasm is going to get you where you want. Some of you, this is um, the power of words and speech. You may be making a speech. Um, some of you may be taking speech therapy. Um, because you have, you're lisping or you're stuttering. I, there is something there that I'm seeing. Um, your, your, the power of word is definitely strongly indicated here too. You may be naming something, um, labeling things. Um, so I do feel that I see blessings 
and a lot of advice coming your way too. So I do feel that energy. Um, giving, receiving is going to be very important. I do see um, here a lot of generosity. Some of you may be doing charity work or giving your time to others. You're sharing a lot too. Others are with you too. The universe seems to be very giving to you at this time. So I do feel that energy as well. Maybe you receive a huge tip at work or a bonus. I, I do feel that energy too. Um, there is a focus on the home and family as well. And this is like balancing everybody's responsibilities, balancing everybody's needs, people that live with you. So I do feel that energy as well. Um, there's a lot of passion that may be igniting in you at this time. I see sexuality too. Um, some of you may be looking at what your sexuality is, um, or there's a lot of sexual energy. I do pick that up too. Um, this is a time where your passions may run high and low. Some of you may have, it's like polarized in a way. You're happy one minute, then you get angry another um, minute, but you need to see what lurks beneath, uh, beneath you. What is, why is that causing that um, to happen? I do see some of you receiving flowers, okay? I do see good fortune coming your way. And for some of you, this could be the harbinger of going into a happy marriage, I see. So now if you're already in a, um, a relationship or you're married, you're going to see um, your uh, marriage is going to kind of ignite and it's going to be happier. Or someone significant that's married in your life, you're going to see their marriage is happy. So seeing that kind of energy, okay? Um, so that is it for um, Scorpio. Now we're going to move on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you're right here. So we are seeing here um, wish fulfillment in that, but there's some negativity here. Maybe something is not going to come the way you want or be careful what you wish for. And we see spirituality, epiphanies, new, um, you know, um, something spiritual or divine timing coming through too. Um, what I do feel here for Sagittarius, um, you may be on the guard a little bit, okay? Um, I do see some of you seeking protection um, or a new a shelter because they could have been, this is for someone out there. As I feel it's either a relationship or something, um, went wrong, or there could have been an, uh, there could be an argument or something, maybe even physical, um, like abuse or something. And you're going to kind of move out or someone in your life may be going through that. Um, this is also maybe you're going to help someone out or you, someone is going through that trouble. It could be a family member. This could be a time you could be arguing with siblings, maybe, is what I'm picking up as well. Or you, for some of you, I feel you're sick and tired of your own um, everyday um, um, work or um, maybe you've been delving into your creativity. Now you want to do something else. You're seeking to do something else. You want to do something else or you're building upon it still. Um, so yeah, a lot of you are going to be looking at warding off evil or negativity. It's like you want to clear, you want to sage, you want to, um, uh, purify things too. Um, I do see here, um, some of you are going to be connecting, connecting with, um, the universe here and higher, um, spirituality. So we are seeing that there's a strong awakening and a higher life. So some of you may have spiritual, um, changes, intuitions, um, epiphanies, you may um, dream something significant and it's just, or you have a spiritual um, awakening somehow that's hard to explain to others, you know, something like that is showing up. Now, you may be going through feeling um, in a lucky phase. Um, some of you could have bouts of sickness or people around you, or you're feeling a little bit unhappy and you're just not happy with your situation. Um, you may be met with small successes though, uh, maybe a small legacy, um, some of you are taking some kind of a long journey or travel, um, from which you will return home from, because maybe you're thinking of moving away and, but then you're going to come home. I don't know. I do feel that energy. Um, but after some either, um, misfortunes or unfortunate circumstances, you will bring, you will, br it will bring you some kind of great honor. Um, it could be good fortune that will come from a journey or an experience that you're going through. Don't worry about the troubles that lie ahead because you will be compensated in the end somehow. So I do feel that energy. There is growth here, a new beginning. Um, I do see abundance and you're manifesting things too. You will have opportunities, a new career opportunity or a new financial opportunity. This is also prosperity and new venture around you as well, okay? That is coming up, okay? 
All right, so that is um, for Sagittarius. Now we're going to move on to Capricorn. Capricorn, you're right here. This is wish fulfillment, but then there is something here that is kind of delaying something as well. Okay, so I do feel that energy, um, home foundation, lifestyle, maybe new directions. There's a focus on that and health. Okay, so we are seeing that energy there. Um, this is a time where you're going to have to make some decisions. Okay, but I do feel here too that there is a focus on your pleasure, your comfort, what is your happiness, um, balancing things in your life and creating harmonious um, atmosphere in your life. I feel there will be some kind of a spiritual reward coming your way, but this is also a possibility of going over the top or overdoing a good thing. So there's a warning there is what I'm feeling, okay? You may come up with a brand new business idea or um, some kind of great idea or a message comes out of the blue. I do feel you're inspired to discover new things. You're more open to it. And you're going to find out that there's limitless, uh, lim limitless pot uh, potential in what you are seeking now. Um, this is a time to be more of a free spirit, exploring there is a sense of freedom here and freedom of thought. Okay? Um, this is a new beginning with it, though. I do feel here a sacrifice is required, though. But for some of you, it does indicate some loss and sorrow. So you may have some loss or some kind of sorrow um, that you're not ready to um, let go of. Okay? Um, there could be some grievances that uh, uh, arise during this uh, full moon for you. Um, I do feel there is resentment and you may have an ax to grind with someone as well. So I do feel that. Um, so you're kind of up and down with this mood um, a swing too. But overall, there is happiness here. Okay, so I do feel that energy too. Yeah. So that uh, wraps it up for Capricorn. Now we're going to move on to Aquarius. Aquarius, you are right here. Spirituality. Both of them very spiritual stones, even a heart. So this is spiritual um, connections. Very spiritual um, um, energy for you. It's a very giving energy. There is a focus on the most important things in your life now. This is um, everything, what you exchange with others, the energy you exchange with others. This is contracts, um, what you negotiate, your personal relationships, your partnerships, all of that is coming into focus for you. Um, these are gifts, um, the sacrifices that you make, generosity, um, but it, um, it's also indicating now things are starting to balance out for you, all right? So there is a very strong energy here of what you give and what you um, receive. And this is also karmic and spiritual rewards. Um, I do feel here you could be more ambition, ambitious. Um, you may be defending what you believe in now too. Um, there is something very significant coming in. There could be some fast moving energy, a lot of energy coming at you, a lot of things at the same time. Some significant news may come in as well. You are so driven to succeed in what your endeavor is now, too. You could be very fast thinking, too. So I do feel that energy. Fast and busy, something like that is definitely showing up. Um, but be careful of impulsiveness as well, okay? Um, you will have a triumph over some certain difficulties that you really, really were going through. Some of you, you're headed to success in life. You're really headed on a straight path here. So it's like you're really on this huge um, upward climbing the ladder to success in life, period. So this moon could be extremely significant for you. Definitely what I'm feeling here, too. Um, I do see things are going to swiftly happen happen. There could be some change, quick changes. Um, I do feel here also um, there could be some warning, though, to pay attention to 
your surroundings. You could be a little bit too impulsive, I want to say, or you're just like rushing around. So I do feel that too. Um, yeah, I, and I feel someone is trying to gain your attention, okay? So someone wants your attention. They may be like waving at you like, hey, hey, pick me or hey, I need your attention. So I do feel that energy as well. All right, so that um, is for Aquarius. Now we're going to move on to Pisces. Pisces, you are right here. Okay, they came together like this. Just moving here so you can see it better. Or I could just move this over. Okay. So what we are seeing here is these don't, this is like fiery, passionate energy as well. And love, compassion, all of that. It's on the side here. So things are starting to change. Um, so definitely um, there is some change happening. If you've been stuck in a rut now, this is like a sense of freedom. You're ready to um, put your creativity out there. You can create your own reality here. You can definitely um, steer your own ship. But you have to kind of come out is what I'm feeling. Like have the guts to do so because something has changed. You've started something like a new chapter in your life somehow. So um, that is showing up. Um, you're getting serious maybe about saving money, your security needs. So you're kind of like um, trying to put things into prosperity. Uh, uh, I want to say building your prosperity, um, putting your financial house in order as well. But you could be overthinking things. And sometimes you're very much keeping things to yourself. And then people are like, um, they don't know, you know, it's like you're sending out mixed signals. Okay, so that is one thing I'm seeing here. It's like assessing who your enemies are, who your friends are. And you're kind of like putting them in order. It's almost like playing a chess game. It's like, okay, this one goes on this side. These are my frenemies. These are my fr uh, enemies. These are my friends. So it's kind of a reassessment here and dealing with all that. Okay, so that is showing up here as well. Um, your attitude, how you are towards others and what their attitude is with you. So it's a lot of reassessment here too. You're clearing up old things as well. So it's like out with the old and you're kind of like going to have a leap of faith about how things will transpire in the future. So you're giving things more of a chance, okay? Um, some of you will travel, okay? And this is, um, maybe this is like after some great success that you make or whatever, you will have time to travel and you will make that um, travel plan um, that uh, or do that travel that you've always, just say you've always wanted to do a, a, a tour, a, a, um, a cruise, or you wanted to travel to Europe overseas or wherever you are in the world. And you may actually start doing that and you will travel. So this is like the harbinger time for it. Um, you're going to help to inspire others somehow. And you may find yourself in a position of um, leadership in the future. Um, it's like your reputation or you're standing out somehow. So I do feel that energy. I see a new life coming your way. It's like a change of guard, a new life for you. Uh, some of you will be going to a large um, um, dinner, like a banquet, okay? Um, a celebration or something like that. Um, I do feel also there is a secret that will come out. Something will be revealed to you. Um, but there is something that need, that may be postponed. So something that maybe you planned, maybe you want to do now, but you may there may be a postponement or a slight delay. So I do feel that energy as well. Okay, so that wraps up the reading. For the full moon in Aquarius on August 19th. And of course, um, like I said, you should watch your moon, maybe Mercury sign, your rising and your sun sign. And if you have any placements in Aquarius, watch Aquarius. And yeah, for the next week or two. So these energies do last. All right, everyone. Bye for now.